Ooh, fire. Although, it's a pretty pitiful flame, isn't it? You know, I've done a lot of stupid things in my life. Many involving fire, actually. When I was a teenager, my brother and a friend and I were out for an adventure walk. And when we would do that, we would always take things that could get us into trouble, like matches. And the field that we had come across was dry and crispy and dead and brown. And so we thought it would be fun to light matches and drop them and then stomp them out before they could catch. So we did that a few times, and uh, as you can imagine, it quickly got out of hand. The fire began to spread way faster than we could stomp it out. And we had this moment of decision. I remember words being said like, let's get out of here. And then I also remember words being said like, it's going to burn someone's house down, or this could kill somebody. We knew that by the time we could get to a phone, this was pre-cell phone days, by the time we could get to a phone, it would have taken the whole field. And so we decided to stay and fight the fire. So we immediately ripped our shirts off and began to beat the ground with our clothes. It just it wasn't doing it though. There wasn't enough sort of mass to the shirts. And so one of us had the idea, let's dip our shirts in the pond and then you know that'll give us an advantage. And so we did that and we fought that fire for I don't know, the better part of an hour or two? I'm not really even sure. And, but we did eventually get it out. And once we had it out, we stood there and we looked at it and thought, wow, that's a big black mark. <laughs> I mean, a huge section of this field was just scorched. And it was like, how did that happen? How did it get that out of hand? How did it spread like that? And I think that's why fire is exciting, because it's dangerous and it spreads. It's contagious. Well, if you watch my videos, you know that I almost always turn them towards things of faith and spirituality. And uh, I wanted to sort of give you a challenge. But first, let me make this comparison. Christianity, faith in general, is interesting to me because it spreads. And in some ways, it spreads like fire from one place to another. And in fact, in the Bible... There's a book that documents, it's the story of the early spread of faith, of Christianity. And that book is called Acts. It stands for the Acts of the Apostles, but you could think of it as sort of an abbreviation for the word action. It's the actions that those early disciples took. And I love the book of Acts because it's all about what they did. I've had a number of conversations recently with believers, Christians, who sort of seem like they're bored. Like they want to see action, they want to see um, things happening, they want to even take action themselves. And so I had this idea that I would offer this challenge. The book of Acts has 28 chapters in it. And so I thought it would be a lot of fun this month for us to read through the book of Acts together, one chapter a day. That would basically take a month, and if you missed one or two, you could still be on track. And so the challenge is, is to read Acts, and so if you, um, if you think you want to do that, if you think you want to jump on board, leave a comment or um, a like or something. That's not self-promotion. That's just so sort of, I can sort of know who's involved with this, and I'm going to try to commit to post at least once a day about whatever chapter we're reading. So before tomorrow, if you want to get in on this, read chapter one of Acts. It's sort of the setup. It's, um, it has... Um, an element of kind of choosing who the team is going to be and um, kind of preparing for the action to come. So let's read that set up a chapter before tomorrow and um, we'll begin to um, have an adventure together, kind of go on a journey. So that's my post for the day. Um, hope, to, hope to see you along the way.